we go then. It's time to race in Mexico City, a place which gave Honda their first ever victory back in 1965. American Richie Ginther won from third on the grid. And what are the Honda powered cars this year? Well, Red Bull have been going strong here in recent seasons, so can they keep that record going today? At 2,285 meters above sea level, the thin air of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez poses a unique challenge, not just to a driver's skill, but to the efficiency of their engines as well. 17 corners make up a lap of this 2.6 mile circuit, and you can expect incredible speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and overtaking two into the hard braking zones of turns one and turn four. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo and Perez, Leclerc, Sainz, Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda, Giovinazzi, Vettel, Lance Stroll and Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, Russell, Fernando Alonso and Nicholas Latifi. Ocon, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Reed. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Reed. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us. Welcome along then to the place where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner. And it's the place, a year later, that Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only Drivers' Championship. It's into Lagos, and it's time for the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two, where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Charles Leclerc, and Fernando Alonso. Gasly, Vettel, Sonoda, and Esteban Ocon. Ricardo, they've taken a grid penalty. Stroll, Lando Norris, and Raikkonen, Reed, Latifi, Max Verstappen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And George Russell, Giovinazzi, and Mick Schumacher. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? <laughs>
strong drive and a good finish. Well done. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. the driver's standings have changed. Our championship leader is still sat at the top of the standings, but their rivals have made up some solid ground today. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Reed. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. <laughs> The crowd are here and here in force for what is going to be a fantastic day of racing. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of Turn 1. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, Reed, Stroll, Leclerc, Russell, and Lando Norris. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Raikkonen, Sainz, Antonio Giovinazzi and Mick Schumacher. Ocon, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel. They've taken a grid penalty. And Nicholas Latifi. Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. <laughs>
driver standings have changed. Valtteri Bottas passes his rival to take over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to say Sebastian Vettel certainly caught my eye during today's race. Incredible driving. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us. When it's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory. So we go into battle once more as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The drivers will be racing here at the Yas Marina circuit through 21 corners and a lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns eight and turn 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and I hope plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Sainz, Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Vettel, Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen, Stroll, Giovinazzi, George Russell and Ricardo. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Latifi, Gasly, Esteban Ocon and Yuki Tsunoda. They've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and Reed. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today?
for me. And with that, another year of Formula One draws to a close. And the new World Drivers' Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. They've done it then. Victory in the last race of the season and the championship as well. What a phenomenal end to a terrific Formula One season. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. incredible day of racing who was your driver of the day Ant? i have to give it to reed they did a great job at getting the most out of their tires without losing pace something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day formula one the constructors championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment but regardless let's look at the standings it's another clear win for mercedes as they managed to secure the constructors title an incredible performance for the whole team meanwhile alpine move up the table with another strong performance this weekend well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.